M. <laughs> Where is he? Who oh, is this doctor? He is my teacher. Please calm down while I speak to him. Lord, while begging for arms this morning, I met this woman with a dead child. She was asking for medicine to cure her son. some medicine that will cure my boy. What is your name and what happened to your son? My name is Kisagotomi. My only son had fever and died suddenly. Please, Lord, you must help me and give me the medicine. I can pay you in gold. My husband is very rich. I will give you the medicine. But first, you must get me something. What is it, Lord? Tell me, please. Go and fetch me some mustard seeds. Mustard seeds? Is that all? Yes. But remember, the mustard seeds must be from a house where there has been no death. I shall leave now to get it, my lord. What? Mustard seed? You can take as much as you want, but my father passed away last month. My sister died last week. Nothing is permanent. There is birth and death, growth and decay, combination and separation. The glory of the world is like a flower. It stands in full bloom in the morning and fades in the heat of the day. Lord, now I realize that death is common to all. Remember, Kisakotomi, one day we must all let go of the things we love. as if I am a prisoner, and I wish to be free. Prisoner? Madam, you are the loveliest and wealthiest of all the women in this kingdom. You know that men seek your company for your wit and your charm, not just for the joy of your body. I know all that, but I sometimes wonder if being an ordinary wife with a difficult husband and sickly children is not to be envied. What are you saying, madam? The ordinary woman is first a slave in her father's house. Then she is a slave in her husband's house. But you, you are free, madam. Am I? Then there must be something else. Something that beauty and wealth, husband and children cannot bring. Madam! Oh, I would give up all that I possess to find that freedom. Maybe you can find that freedom that you seek. What do you mean? Well, madam, they say he has all the answers. Who? The Buddha. The Buddha? Yes, I have heard of him. Well, he is staying with some of his monks in your grounds. Here? In my grounds? Then I must see him immediately. But, madam, he is an old man. Folks say he's not interested in beauty and charm of women. I know that. Don't you understand that beauty and charm will fade? There must be something else. The Buddha must know. I must find out. Get my carriage ready at once. The craving of the person addicted to careless living grows like a creeper. He jumps from one life to another like a monkey swinging from tree to tree, looking for fruit in the forest. Venerable Master, I am Ambapalia Kotisan. I have tasted the full sensual pleasures of this world, and it has brought me only pain, longing, frustrations and emptiness. Dear child, you must control your body and your mind. 
And how do I do that, Master? Give up attachment, lust, craving, and all evil deeds. Cultivate good deeds, speech, and thoughts. Yes, my lord. I will do as you ask. I will cultivate good deeds from now on. May I invite you and your monks to have your meals at my house? As you wish, my child. My lord, you are not serious. You are a prince like us. How can you dine with a courtesan? You must dine with us. Oh, forgive me, Lord. I do understand if you cannot dine with me. Within the Dharma, there is neither prince nor courtesan. Tomorrow, we shall take our meals at Ampapali's house. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Listen very carefully. At the end of three months, I will pass away. What? 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 Pass away? What is this? What is this? No! For the good, the welfare, and the happiness of gods and men, let the Lord live out his life. Yes. Enough. Ananda, do not ask that of me now. The time to ask that has gone by. What are we to do when you are gone? Monks, the Dharma I have taught has no secret versions. I am not a teacher with a closed fist. Be diligent, mindful, and virtuous. With well-directed thoughts, guard your mind. He who lives heedful in this Dharma will escape life's wanderings and put an end to suffering. I will rest here under these sal trees. Look, the green sal trees are covered with blossoms, though it is not the season. How wonderful. Look, mandarava flowers and sandalwood powder fall from the sky. Monks, this is not how a perfect one is honored, respected, revered, or venerated. Sir, I would like to speak to the Buddha. Enough, friend Subhata. Do not worry the accomplished one. He is very tired and weary. Ananda, do not prevent Subhata. Let Subhata speak. I have some doubts, venerable sir. And what are they, Subhata? Lord, there are good, well-known followers of other religions. They too try to show superiority of their respective religions. That is true. If that is true, my lord, how can we find a true and proper religion? O oh, Subhada, any form of religion is proper if it contains the noble eightfold path. This is a universal truth. It is in the nature of all formations to dissolve, attain perfection through diligence.